Welcome back to Who Chose. So I've taught you how to build an NFT hydroponic system. We've looked into chop and flip IBC hydroponics and soon to be aquaponics. We've looked at feature hydroponics, but today we're going to look at balcony hydroponics because I know that not everyone's as lucky as me and has as much space to play with. So we're going to try and get as much greenery out of your balcony as possible. Enjoy the hoochos. So I am working with what I've got lying around today. Uh, these were specifically bought for this project, but they've been sitting around for a while. So today I'm gonna to use a 20 liter bucket, a pond pump, a drill, a drill bit to match the size of your poly pipe, I've got a Christmas tree bit as well, which makes your life a bit easier for larger holes. Some 13 millimeter poly pipe, some 13 millimeter barb tea pieces, an aquarium grade silicon sealant, and these are flower pot trios. Now, if you're gonna buy these, just make sure they're the ones without holes on the bottom, just so that you don't have to seal up holes to stop the nutrient solution leaking through to the next pot. So to start with, we're gonna drill a single hole in the dead center of each flower pot that your polytubing will go up through the center and feed the top flower pot from the pump. So the easiest way to do this is to put all your flower pots together because they stack really well and just drill straight through the center Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I just blew through all the bottoms of one, two, three, four of my pots. It's okay, I can salvage this. Um, I'll, I'll make it work. <laughs> It's, it's okay to F up, guys, as long as, as long as you can fix it, right? <laughs> so now that I know that the plastic isn't that hardy, I'm going to be more careful. Um, I'm going to put a hole three centimeters from the top in the internal corner of each pot. Um, this is going to allow the nutrient solution to cascade onto the next plants underneath the pots. But just make sure you leave one without those holes for the bottom pot. Uh, and the bottom pot will have to put a standpipe in so that it runs down into the container that's going to be our reservoir. Let's see if I can't F this up too. I think the problem was a blunt drill bit. Try it again. Use a sharp drill bit. <laughs> now we're going to attach the lid to the base pot so that it sits like that. So you drill a hole straight through the center of the lid so that the poly tubing can go through. And we're also gonna add in a hole for the stand pipe on the bottom flower bed. So for the stand pipe, I'm just gonna put a hole in off center and in the same spot on the lid. Now I'm just gonna cut a section of poly as long as I want the stand pipe. So you're looking at about five centimeters long. So we put the standpipe in so that when the nutrient solution gets to the bottom container, it doesn't just run straight down into the reservoir. It fills up to where the standpipe will accept the nutrient solution and it will tumble back down into the reservoir. That actually oxygenates the nutrient solution as well, which means that we don't have to put an air pump into the system. After you've put your barbed teeth piece through the bottom, 
just bond your bottom pot to the lid so that it doesn't have any movement. I didn't mention this, but you'll need bonding agent. All right, now you can go ahead and build the tower. Alternating colors, obviously. And we can fix the mistake we made earlier. <laughs> so just thread in with the barb two-piece on the top, your piping that correlates to the height of the tower plus the height of the reservoir. And it should become one solid piece like that. I'm pretty happy with that actually. So now I can fix the mistake I made before. I'm going to go through and silicon all the cracks that I've made in the base of some of the pots with aquarium silicon that's non-toxic. So probably don't go get so excited that you put your thumb through the tube. <laughs> all right, let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna cut the tubing there so that the pump is right at the bottom of the reservoir. So I'll move it into place. I'll throw the pump on it. And before I put clay balls into the pots, which I also didn't mention that you'll need, you'll need clay balls. We're gonna see how the water flows throughout the system. So I'm just gonna put a hole in the lid for the pump cord to come out of, and then we'll connect the pump up and see how the water flows from the top to the bottom. So now we can fill it up with water. Turn on the pump. Now, if the pots start overflowing, just turn down the flow adjustment on your pump to low, and that should fix the problem. If it's still happening, you might need to make the holes that you've done in the side of the pots larger to accommodate the flow rate. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the hydrogen that I didn't tell you you'd need. So not only is the build and the video a complete train wreck, but the system is a complete train wreck as well. So I'm just gonna to have to go ahead and recommend that you don't build this system. The pump is delivering too much water to the top, even on the lowest setting. The clay balls are blocking the holes in the sides of the pots. Um, and the stand pipe at the bottom is not accepting enough nutrient solution back into the container. And I've created a water feature. <laughs> so while we um, enjoy the lovely water feature that I've created, let's run through the pros and cons of the system. Pro, it gives really good ambiance, like, if you want a water feature, you want it to, you know, multiple trickles of water creating that splashing sound. Tick. Um, con. Even if it worked, it would be a real hassle to change the nutrient solution. So you'd have to lift the whole top. And the, the containers, they're just really flimsy. Like, I'm not sure how long that that silicon would stay in place. Uh, con, it, you know doesn't hold nutrient solution and uh there's just too many bottlenecks in the system and the pumps too powerful so it'd be really hard to get all of the fluid dynamics right in the system so i'm gonna have to go and not recommend this system and hopefully i can find something better for you to stick on your balcony I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. Like and subscribe for more F-Ups. And uh, I'll see you next time.